Hi everybody, welcome back to Willie's American Guitars Acoustic Room. It's kind of cool down here. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Our old acoustic room was a really special place. We had filmed commercials in there. We had hosted a large, a lot of rock stars had come through the old Willie's area. And uh, we really want to set up kind of a vibey thing in here too. And you can hear, hello? It just echoes in here. It just seems to ring. So when you play an old guitar in here, you can really hear it. There's a little carpet to deaden things. It's got just this real friendly vibe. So um, we invite you to make an appointment and come in and try some guitars. This guitar I have, I'm going to start out this video with two, that's two, 12 fret guitars. One a Gibson, one a Martin. And this is an old Gibson. Anytime you can buy a pre-war Gibson, you're going to notice the first thing about it is that it has a scripted logo. So that logo is written in script. And uh, for those of you that are under 20, that means you kind of never, yeah, never mind. Um, and then the other thing about these pre-war Martins up, or Gibsons up until 1950, 51, is the tapered headstock. And we've talked about this for other guitars. Colling still makes a tapered headstock. It's skinny here and fat here. And um, that, that gives your strings a greater angle down towards the skinny part of the headstock and that helps the ricochet as your string vibrates back and forth. It stops quicker there when it has a steeper angle. It actually improves the tension a little bit. If you were to bring it all the way back, the tension would be quite a lot. Um, it also, because it's fatter here, creates a little more mass in that area and helps some of the tone, especially your open string notes. So this is a 39 Gibson and it's an HDOO, so that it's the same thing as a Gibson LOO, same body size, same scale length, skinny bridge, uh, but this was made as a Hawaiian guitar. And this era uh, of these didn't have a square neck. So later on, they did a lot more square necks with their Hawaiians. This has the same neck uh, as a regular um, L-O-O. -O. It doesn't have the big square neck. This hasn't been shaved. It's got that V, which you'll find in most 30s guitars, and that's good for planting your thumb, and it also fits the, cur the curve of your hand when you rest your hand in a resting position. It kind of fits a V. So these guitars... To sit down with this guitar, you really get why people go crazy. Why do you want a 12 fret guitar? Well, the, the body meets at the 12th fret, of course, and then instead of the 14th fret, uh, it, a 14th fret will give you more access, but you get a bigger volume because the whole neck comes down, the bridge actually moves back away too. So a 14th fret has the neck come out, the bridge is placed, that means you have more string over the body, and you get a bigger sound. For finger picking this particular guitar, is really even. It also has a nice crisp uh, upper mid-range that tends to mix well in a mix. So if you do a lot of recording, this is a guitar for you. Uh, it blends in better. It tends to cut better. It still has this uh, lower mid-range that comes from old wood. So um, Adirondack spruce top, old Adirondack spruce top, a uh, Honduran mahogany back and sides. This has seen a few repairs, but it's actually, we got this from the family of the original owner. And um, it's just a fantastic guitar. Uh, again, a 1939 L00 or H00. It was a Hawaiian. And when we got it, it had a tall nut. That nut is still inside the case. And we simply took that off, recut the nut, brought it down, and it, uh, it plays in tune fantastically. The other thing I have, and this is a used Martin, uh, 2017 Martin 0017 Authentic. Now, 
on the 0017s, this, this particular authentic, of all the Martin Authentics they make, this one is the least expensive and perhaps the most popular because of that. An authentic series from Martin has uh, high glue wood, so it's all high glue construction, and that gives you more, <laughs> more volume, more balance. Being a Martin, it's a slightly longer scale length than a Gibson. Uh, it also has a Brazilian rosewood fretboard, and to my knowledge, it's the only Martin they make that has a Brazilian fretboard and a Brazilian bridge. It has the through saddle, 12 fret neck joint, and open headstock, and the same thing that we talked about, that open headstock brings the strings back at a certain pitch, and that gives you a little more <laughs> oomph, because the strings are tauter with that pitch on there. And then the, the slightly wider neck, this is 1 16th wider than 1 and 3 quarters. It's good for finger picking, it gives you room. to get new. The 0017 Authentic is a difficult guitar. They use a higher grade of wood. They age all the wood. Their Martin's VTS, uh, Vintage Tone System, is uh, baking the wood. They're baking all the moisture out of the wood. Uh, it makes it a little more durable. Uh, having all the moisture out of the wood. It actually was developed in, uh, for, for siding, for houses to really bake the wood like this, to torrify the wood. Um, but it's super high grade, uh, real Honduran mahogany. Now, uh, real mahogany, genuine mahogany, uh, mahoganies are running out. Honduran mahogany, those trees being 400, 500 years old, they're going away and it's getting harder and harder to find a mature tree that you would fell to use for guitars. Us guitar players account for less than 1% of these wood supplies across the world that are dwindling. It's mostly the furniture makers and that that are using up this wood because of its beauty. But mahogany tends to be a really good wood if you like that really like a mid-range. a growl to the mid-range. Being made of baked wood, being made, even the braces are baked, there's a special finish they apply for these authentics only. And um, having this high grade wood that's been aged, these are really fantastic guitars. It's cool to find one that's used. This is 45, um, crack free, nice case, great guitar. <laughs> It just, it's still sustaining. It's still going. And it'll keep going till well after this video, which ends right about now. Here's our video on 12 fret used guitars. <laughs>